Hey everyone, I have a quick word to release today. And today's word is you're worth more than your weight in gold and financial blessings are on the way. <clears throat> you're worth more than your weight in gold and financial blessings are on the way. And this word is actually based on a vision I received from the Lord <clears throat> a week or so ago. And in this vision, I just saw bars of gold. And the Holy Spirit revealed to me that this is, uh, that he's talking about your worth and how you, it's twofold, your worth more than your weight in gold. You're a priceless jewel. You know, gold is one of the most valuable precious metals and you are valuable in the kingdom of God. And it also represents financial blessings that are on the way for many of you. The first, and this word isn't for everybody, so please take it to the Lord for confirmation and always test the spirit behind every prophetic word, including mine. But if this message is for you, you um, are probably a Proverbs 31 woman. Uh, I know men watch this channel as well. Um, and maybe this is a description of the type of woman that the Lord is calling you to marry. Or maybe you've married this kind of woman, a Proverbs 30 woman. Proverbs 31 woman. And it says in Proverbs 31, uh, 10, and it's the whole passage is titled, The Woman Who Fears the Lord, An Excellent Wife Who Can Find. She is far more precious than jewels. The heart of her husband trusts in her and he will have no lack of gain. She does him good and not harm all the days of her life. She seeks wool and flax and works with willing hands. She is like the ships of the merchant. She brings her food from afar. She rises while it is yet night and provides food for her household and portions for her maidens. She considers a field and buys it with the fruit of her hands. She plants a vineyard. She dresses herself with strength and makes her arms strong. She perceives that her merchandise is profitable. Her lamp does not go out at night. She puts her hands to the distaff and her hands hold the spindle. She opens her hand to the poor and reaches out her hands to the needy. She is not afraid of snow for her household, for all her household are clothed in scarlet. She makes bed coverings for herself. She, her clothing is fine linen and purple. Her husband is known in the gates when he sits among the elders of the land. She makes linen garments and sells them. She delivers sashes to the merchant. Strength and dignity are her clothing and she laughs at the time to come. She opens her mouth with wisdom and the teaching of kindness is on her tongue. She looks well to the ways of her household and does not eat the bread of idleness. Her children rise up and call her blessed, her husband also, and he praises her. Many women have done excellently, but you surpass them all. Charm is deceitful and beauty is vain. But a woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. Give her of the fruit of her hands and let her works praise her in the gates. So whoever this is for today, if you're a woman, you're probably a Proverbs 31 woman. And the Lord has been really um, working on you, you know, to um, prune you, to strengthen you, to, um, you know, to form you like clay into a Proverbs 31 woman. And if this message is for you, the Lord is saying that you are there. You have really done the work. You've allowed him to come in and heal you from the inside out um, of any traumas. You've been drinking of his, of Jesus Christ healing water. And for many of you, you know, the Lord's been preparing you for marriage. For those of you who aren't married yet, the Lord has been preparing you to be a helpmate for your spouse, to be the type of woman that he, a man can be proud of, that he trusts, that she's not lazy. You know, she raises her children in the ways of the Lord. She's, um, 
you know, many of you are entrepreneurs and as is the Proverbs 31 woman. She's not lazy. She takes care of her household. Many of you, the Lord has been training you in these ways. He's been getting you ready. And for many of you, you are in your marriage season. For some of you, you are already living this out. You're living it out in your own family. You're married, you have a family, or maybe um, you don't have children, but you are still um, walking out the pages of this passage in your life. And the Lord is saying, you are more, worth more than your weight in gold. And financial blessings are coming to you. And don't ever let anybody diminish you or make you feel like, you know, some of you may be stay-at-home moms or, you know, you work from home. And there might be people around you who've tried to diminish you or make you feel like that's not a worthy assignment. And what the Holy Spirit is saying today is don't ever believe those lies because, what you're doing for your family is worth more than anything that money could ever buy. So don't ever let anybody make you feel less than who you are in Jesus Christ. You know, the second scripture reference he brought to me for this word is Psalm 139. And uh, in verse, um, where is it? Verse 13, you made all the delicate inner parts of my body and knit me together in my mother's womb. Thank you for making me so wonderfully complex. Your workmanship is marvelous. How well I know it. You watched me as I was being formed in utter seclusion, as I was woven together in the dark of the womb. You saw me before I was born. Every day of my life was recorded in your book. Every moment was laid out before a single day had passed. So many of you are walking out the Lord's purpose in your life. And if that means being a, a mom and taking care of your family and being a woman of God, then you are worth more than your weight in gold. You don't ever let anyone in this world lie to you and tell you that that is not a noble undertaking to be a Proverbs 30 woman, 31 woman, to support your husband, to take care of your children. That is a noble calling. And God cares about the family. God wants our families to stay together. This is a plot from the enemy, a snare to try to keep families broken up, to try to keep, you know, women out of the home. And you know, listen, in my life, I was a working single mom for many of the years of my children's lives. And I, you know, there are things that I regret about that, but I was in the world and I was of that mindset that, you know, women is women, we can have it all. And it's just a lie, <laughs> you know, and God works all things uh, for good. But, you know, there are regrets that I have um, from, you know, there are things I sacrificed in my family for corporate America. And at the end of the day, corporate America chewed me up and spit me out. And I'm thankful that it did because now I'm in my purpose and I'm doing what the Lord called me to do. But, you know, there are so many things I sacrificed in my family for, for a job. And it's like, for what, you know, at the end of the day, it, what did it get me? You know, they treated me like dirt. <laughs> so it's like, you know, God cares about marriage. God cares about families in this season. And a woman who, and look, I'm not saying, you know, some women have to work. Like, I get it. You know, you may be a single mom. You might be in a two parent household, but you gotta, you gotta bring home the bacon. You gotta make ends meet. And just know that wherever you are, the Lord meets you. And maybe some of you are working and you have a desire to stay home. Or maybe some of you are stay at home and you have a desire to work. Just take it to the Lord and ask him to guide you. You know, there's ways to work from home and also be an entrepreneur. And, you know, as the Proverbs 31 woman, I mean, she's such a great example of this. And I truly believe, as it says in Deuteronomy 28, that God intends for us to be the head and not the tail that his yoke is easy and his burden is light. And we do need to make family a priority, especially now in this day and age when there are so many agendas being um, indoctrinated in children in the public school system. 
you know, we have to stand, take a stand for the family and for biblical principles in the name of Jesus. You know, I don't know if you guys have been following this Target stuff, but they're targeting our children. And it's not just businesses. It's in the public school system, you guys. And we got to take a stand for the family. We can't allow these demonic agendas because it's exactly what it is to infiltrate our families. So just know that you're going to be financially blessed for whatever you're doing, whatever investments you are making, whatever stands you are taking for your family the lord is going to bless you financially as well as just spiritually you are going to be blessed your family is going to um and already does adore you and you don't ever forget you are worth more than your weight in gold and don't ever let anybody in this world and the society tell you any different so again i'm not sure who this message is for today please take it to the lord for confirmation if you feel the holy spirit leading you to sow into this message i encourage you to do so just know i pray over every seed that the lord will increase it a thousand fold i pray for all of you who receive these messages that the right people receive receive them at the right time. I pray the Lord continue to go before you, follow behind you, leading you in his perfect will for your lives. And just know that I love you all so much with the love of Christ and stay blessed.